will present the material to my class on our community day. So this is for cycle two, week one. And I just wanted to tell you I have a separate line of videos called Memory Work, and that is gonna be really geared towards the students where they can practice the motions with me. I may give more of an explanation to go along with our history sentence or science or whatever it is. And I'll include some bonus questions every once in a while of things that they can think about or discuss um, things just related to whatever that sentence is. So that's really geared for the students is my memory work videos. And then these are geared for whoever is presenting the material on community day. I thought it's been so helpful for me to see how other people are presenting it and what activities they're doing for each thing and what works with different age groups. So I just wanted to share all the resources I've pulled together <laughs> to have good, uh, good days with my classroom on our community day. Okay, so for how I present my material for cycle two, week one. So for geography, I have these maps. And um, so I get a wet erase marker, not a dry erase because it just wipes off so fast. But I can do this at home, and then when I transfer them to campus, I don't lose everything I do on it. So what I do is I like to do it this way with my little ones. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different with my six and seven year olds, I've decided. But this is what we did for week one. I outlined, so I did North America blue, I did, you know, South America red, and Europe different. I just did all of them different colors. And then I had to write in our oceans because they're not on here. And so then I had my kids, I gave them all these little googly eyes finger puppets and so they just put them on the end of their finger and said, okay, take your little googly eyes and show him North America. So they go to North America and South America. So we first started, I just introduced them like, go to the green continent and this one, does anybody know what this is? They go through them. And then, um, and then I'll get a baby wipe and have them, you know, erase Africa. So then they'll erase Africa erase Europe and erase Europe. So we kind of work backwards. And then um, we'll do the song, go through our song where we point to all of them. And then I'll ask him, you know, who can point to Antarctica? Who can find the Southern Ocean? And so just kind of the show me, tell me thing for geography. And for geography, I, tend, I don't let them keep these. I collect them all back because I'll reuse them over and over again. But just from week to week, like I have these little bumblebees. Um, I have these spider rings. You know, you get it like the Dollar Tree at Halloween. Um, and then erasers. These ones are just all different kinds of vehicles. And so, I, but I've got just all these little, I don't even know what they are, just little trinkets. And I'll try to find ones that kind of go with our theme. So like I did bees, and I said we're gonna take a big look the whole world so the eyes like big look I just tried to do something like that like when we were in doing Africa last year I had these little gems and so we used the diamonds you know we're gonna mine for gold or mine for diamonds in this area because this is a natural resource there or whatever so that was what we did for geography and then for math um, I went through and I didn't just have them chant the ones, I showed them the multiplication table. So I wrote out one times one is one and then and I wrote it on the whiteboard while we went through and I showed them the pattern of any time a number is multiplied by one, it's the number you know, you're multiplying it by. So they got to see that pattern. Or we did our multiplication chart and everything, I just was like, okay, I know you know how to count to 15. But can you count to 15 like a cowboy? Yeah, it's a cowboy, robot, mouse, say it like a witch, say it like a monster, whisper. Say it like your favorite animal at the zoo. So what I do for this one is I let each of them, you know, pick your animal and you're gonna say it like that. So sometimes I'll have them do it like, 
one at a time, and then sometimes it's just chaos. Baby talk, act like your royal highness. Pirate, say it like you're a cheerleader. Say it like you're freezing cold. Do it in a grandpa voice. And then for our twos, um, so I did this. I saw that my mother tutor was so smart. So I have my tubes up on my board. So we just sang it through. We did our, I showed them the multiplication table for twos and we went through that. And then I said, okay, let's sing our song. So we, two, four, six, eight, that little tune. And then I took a dry erase marker and I circled two and I circled 12. And I said, okay, when we get to the numbers that are circled, we're all gonna jump. And they loved it. And then I, the next time I added more and then more and more until I'd circled almost all of them and I was gonna stop. And they were like, circle all of them. We gotta do all of them. So I definitely will be doing that again because they thought it was so fun. All right, and then for history, tell me about Charlemagne. So I gave them a little explanation. I used, um, okay, so I love story of the world. It's so good. It's like so entertaining too as an adult. It's just so good. So I found our little chapter on Charlemagne and so I felt comfortable talking to teaching about him and then I showed them our timeline card which is so cool because it's just I love the like colors. It looks so Christmassy because he was crowned emperor on Christmas day and so I showed him this and I told him you know if you go to London and you go to um, the British Museum in London, you can see this painting. And they just, they were like, oh, really? If we go to London, we can go to the museum and see the real painting? Like they couldn't, they couldn't believe it. I was like, yeah, this is the painting. <laughs> so I showed them this and I told them about him getting crowned on Christmas day. And then for our emotions, in 800, we just do eight fingers. In 800, during the medieval period, Pope Leo the Third, or the Third, was crowned, crowned Charlemagne, Holy Roman Emperor of Europe. And then I just do an E and like a sash across for royalty. Um, so like when I did period, I did like prayer hands, and, I, and so I said, you know, Charlemagne was very devout Catholic, and he was very. Devout. So just any little thing I can kind of add in to make a connection for them, to help them remember it, I gave out. So it helps me remember stuff. Um, the other book I like to use to get background history information is Everything You Need to Know About World History. That's what I went through. And I've got little post-it notes for every week that we cover. And then this book I just got is the Usborne or Osborne, I don't know, is it Usborne? world history medieval world and it um you know has a page on Charlemagne in here so sometimes I'll just bring these books in and I just have them kind of sitting out on a table in my class so they can kind of see where they'll be like oh what's that book and then I can tell them tell them about it show it to them okay so for eight parts of speech we just patted and clapped song and they were happy to do that like over and over again but i did you know first do the boys only and then girls only and now we're gonna walk in a circle and pat and clap and we're gonna um sit and we're gonna stand just a couple of different things to kind of do but they thought it was really fun and they were like really dancing to it, it so cute all right for latin um the only thing I did with this, because it's so short, and I think you have to play through the song two times to get all of your repetitions in, uh, I said to remember present tense is like when someone gives you a present and you say, oh, thank you, because our first, it begins with O. Oh. So that's how they can remember present, oh, that's your first, first one. Um, and we just sang through it a couple of times and they just kind of swayed and they didn't need anything. What I'm going to do next week is I'll give them tattoos while we sing through it. Um, all right, for science, I did motions. So also because I don't want to have motions for absolutely everything, I kind of like to have some of them that aren't motions. But science, I did motions. 
So what occurred on each day of creation, earth, space, time, light, atmosphere, day three, dry land and plants. And we like acted like the plants were like growing out of, you know, like crazy uncontrollable plants. Um, and then sun, moon, stars. So sun, moon, stars. And fish, just did like fish swimming, birds flying. And for land animals, our dry land, and then animals walking. And then for Adam and Eve, we like acted like we we're so in love because Adam and Eve were the first man and woman, the first married couple. So I like to tell them, you know, point to your ring finger, you're in love. And they had fun with that. And then, uh, and then the little boy in our class said, we need to do the world. We need to say, this is my father's world. Cause we went to the tune of this is my father's world. So we added that at the end. Um, and then for timeline, what I like to do is take all the cards and hide them all over the room. And then I'll play through the song while they're searching. They bring them up one at a time. And so I try to keep it to where, so like one kid sometimes can just find all of them. And then one kid has none. So I'll, be like just find one card and then come and sit down um, and hold on to your card um, and so it's sometimes it usually takes like two times for them to find all of them but I have 10 kids in my class this year so I don't know that we're gonna have to go through it twice for them to find them and then um, I'll say you know who has at who has creation in the fall or who has age of ancient empires and so I said look at your card and see if you have a word that starts with an A or, you know, if they can read, I'll ask them to, you know, if anybody can read that. Um, and then they'll hold it up and then we'll, you know, show the motion and we'll put them in order and then sing through it a couple of times. Um, so there are motions for a timeline. I get these off of CC Connected, like the lady, um, I do, it's like timeline by week are the videos I use. And I just make them simpler for my class. So. I don't like I don't care about them like learning the motion necessarily as much as remembering what they're singing like remembering the song so it's really cool that they learn all of these ASL signs um, but I don't do absolutely every single little motion because it's a lot and um, it was really overwhelming to my four-year-olds it was it was so overwhelming to them so I just made it, I just broke it down to make it more simple. And so I'm keeping it simple because that's what I like. So we just do Age of Ancient Empires. And like you've got, and I say, you've got a long beard, your ancient beard, you've been growing for a very long time. And then creation in the fall, creation, fall, the flood. And I like to act like <gasps> the flood, you know, like it's kind of scary, like it's coming up over my head and the Tower of Babel, making a tower. Mesopotamian Sumer, so I've just got two R's, which I never can do without twisting my own fingers, but two R's, and I tell them, you know, Mesopotamian Sumer were um, civilizations that you know, relied on the rivers, they're between the rivers, so I do that like you're on a roller coaster. Then Egyptians, we bend our little crook, and then I like to turn to the side because all of our Egyptian pictures are that two-dimensional, you know, like flat. So I turn to the side to kind of show them. And there's time in the song to do that. And then 3000 BC, so we talked about, you know, why do we do three fingers down? They're like, because it's 3000. I was like, no, this is our 3000. And so we talked about how 1000, I wrote 3000 on the board and I said, well, how many zeros are there? There's 1000, so now, now they know whenever we're gonna say 3,000, 2,000, 1,000, whatever. It's gonna be the first number and then our three zeros um, in the number. Um, and then Indus River Valley, touch our forehead for the um, to make the traditional bindi dot in India. And then our, again, our rivers. Uh, and then Minoans and Mycenaeans. So we're gonna do a Y, put it on our forehead like bulls because they use bulls in their religious um, rituals um, and then if and like a Minoan art you can see I think it's on the, the card I don't have it in front of me but you can see like the the bull and the art I, I'm not 
Should I put him? I looked at something where there's like lots of bulls in their art. So I told him that, you know, just so they can understand why am I doing this? What does that mean? And then uh, for the sign for gold is to point like you have a gold in your earring in your ear and then our Y for yellow just comes down like this. And um, we talk about that, the precious gold. So that is our, those are our timeline motions. And um, that was how I presented all of our memory work this week. And I will link my incentive charts and I can, I'll share the titles of all of these books and the timeline card that I used um, for all of that. But. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my mom's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit that like button and the subscribe and the notification bell. If you want more videos like this, continue to browse on YouTube or whatever she posts. But thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. Bye.